Good morning, guys. Give you a warm welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video today. Today, we're in my Mustang. We're, I'm going to give you an all around uh, review of what I think of it. Mm -hmm. Do a cold start. Since I had the new shifter installed, it has new exhaust. I went with the Cooks one and three quarter inch long tube headers with their Cooks X pipe because that is required. Anytime you buy a Cooks exhaust, they require you to run either an H pipe or an X, which I wanted more of power. So it has kind of a raspy sound, as you will hear in the next little bit. But I'm very happy with the car overall. I believe it's ready for Mustang week as far as the drivetrain parts concerned. Um, I'm going to do an oil change on it before we take it down. But uh, what I'm doing here is just letting it warm up. Um, so, doing the information on it. Um, system check. Oil life's 86%. But I think, I believe it's been maybe a couple months since I changed the oil. And instead of going by the oil life, I think, I believe the uh, the most healthy thing we could do for the car is, you know, Benson, I don't even drive the car 3,000 miles a month. Really should change the oil every, not, not, let me rephrase that. Probably should change the oil more often than we should, that, than I do, so... We'll get an oil change for it probably in the next week or so and uh, get the oil changed before we take it down to Mustang Week. So uh, every three months or every 3,000 miles, that's what they recommend. And that's really the old school way. But technology of oils has come a long ways. But I do know that deep down that oil breaks down and that's not good for the engine when you're running oil, old oil in it. And I really need to change it in that car over there light one and uh we have some projects happening on this torino right here we're gonna work on it but um but right now we're getting ready to go i'm taking my son to school he told me to get me so but, uh, i'll just let this thing run for a minute and uh but you guys hear this thing it actually don't sound that bad it's it's pretty good Reverse is a little tricky to get sometimes. You gotta press down, over and up, just like you did before, but with this shifter, it's a little tricky. But, but uh, that's just characteristics of an aftermarket shifter. But I love how this thing runs. I love the way it sounds. So, I'll tell you the horsepower numbers in a little bit. You gotta stick around and watch the bid. Um, I'm not gonna get on it too hard or anything. I'm still trying to get used to it because that's how much it's changed. Even for a NA car, it's, it's done well. As far as it done very well on a dyno. I'll, I'll say that much. It's not that bad. It's pretty quiet. But 
I switched to the 305 tires because that eliminated some of the wheel spin that this thing was prone to have in the previous set. So, happy about that. Mainly just gets up and goes. That's what I like about it. It's not slow at all. But like 60 mile an hour and up, it really wants to party. So, that's where you gotta watch. Alright, done had my breakfast, so let's go to my spot to do a little walk around and show you what I was done to this thing. see here guys I'm quiet I'm having to do a little walk around on this car we're at the lake so people are fishing so I want to be about as quiet as I can but first off I'm gonna show you first thing I done well the car went to the shop to keep it safe as I put new tires on it it's a 305 35 20 in the back got my MCW shifter installed looking good need to vacuum this thing out that's gonna be another thing I'm going to address that shifter is on point but uh, my seats I love my seats let's go around here where the party's at got my headers installed As you can see there, Jet Hot by Cooks. And it went with a P Mass Cold Air. It's a very tight fit right there. But it's the best way to go for <clears throat> keeping your engine clean internals. Do all separators. Oh, cool. That one's got Jet Hot. Cool. I like that. That is so neat. So, quality is what I went for with this car. And honestly, guys, I honestly can't be any more proud of the guys at Carolina Performance. They did not disappoint at all. So, if you want work done, let me know. Because I will, I will point you in their direction. So, dyno numbers. Let's talk about that. So, dyno numbers. Let's talk about dyno numbers and see what this car made. I believe the last time it was on a dyno, it dynoed 369. And uh, I can't remember the torque that it made. It was around in the, about the same as the power. But uh, that was stock. Uh, now, after the mods I showed you, the cold air, the X pipe, and a tune. On the dyno, the car made the first pull was 375. After everything was dialed in, my buddy Robbie got it all dialed in, and the car runs amazing. As you can hear, it sounds good. The car made 417 horsepower, 
and 404 foot pounds of torque so that's perfect but where you're gonna feel the power is the curve gains i need to explain that peak horsepower is one thing but uh, where you're gonna feel the power is in the curve so just keep that in mind when you have a car on a dyno but um but if this car pulls and it pulls very very hard it likes to party about 60 mile an hour and up it likes to party and i believe um the next outing is the track day and that's something else that it, that may be a little bit before i go back with this car because for one as you can know i have another car and i'm more focused on that but um I do want to take this thing and run it the same way I did. Just, you know, no slicks, just regular street tires and just see how much it picked up. So, I'm going to leave you on that note. So, if you have enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching this vid. Have a great rest of your week.